Vicar Sarah here. Welcome to today's Daily Dose on Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Enjoy if you're celebrating that. Our text is from Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 23 through 31. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God. And my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make with them a covenant of peace and banish wild animals from the land so that they may live in the wild and sleep in the woods securely. I will make them and the region around my hill a blessing and I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. The trees of the field shall yield their fruit and the earth shall yield its increase. They shall be secure on their soil and they shall know that I am the Lord when I break the bars of their yoke and save them from the hands of those who enslaved them. They shall no more be plunder for the nations, nor shall the animals of the land devour them. They shall live in safety and no one shall make them afraid. I will provide for them a splendid vegetation so that they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land and no longer suffer the insults of the nations. They shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God says the Lord God. Here ends the reading. So I cheated and looked at this text yesterday when I was looking at the previous portion. And initially when I read this, I was struck by the idea of yoke and burden and saving the people from whomever had enslaved them and so that they no longer had to be plunder and they no longer had to be afraid. And I thought about, I'm sure for many of us, there are things in our lives that we live under that can feel like yokes or burdens. Maybe we don't want to talk about it very much. Maybe they're painful things. Maybe they're things that make us feel afraid. Maybe... There are components that feel enslaving. And whether that's systematic injustices, which are prevalent in our world, whether that is through components like racism or sexism or all of the different ways that people can be marginalized and discriminated against and excluded and the ways in which they have to endure hearing insults from other people about themselves and their identities. That certainly would be a burden. That certainly is a heavy yoke to bear. And I'm struck in this passage by how much God wants to protect us and lift us out of that and comfort us the gentleness of God's care in this passage is amazing. I love the portion that talks about, I want to banish the other wild animals so that you can sleep in the woods securely. And I'm going to shower all these blessings upon you and there'll be rain in due season and vegetation and I'm going to take care of you. And you no longer have to be afraid. So, yokes can be a hard thing to talk about, but I encourage you to talk to God about that today because there may be yokes that you are burdened by, whether those are related to other people or related to fears, or maybe there's even ways that you can put a heavy yoke on yourself. But that's not what God calls for you or wants for you. 
God is saying here, God wants to break the yoke of whatever is oppressive for you in your life or whatever takes your breath away in fear or whatever is a burden that's hard to maneuver under, that's hard to bear, that's hard to live with. So I encourage you today to take the heaviness of whatever those burdens are to God and release them to God and ask God to carry your burdens for you and instead for God to gently and lovingly care for you in the ways God describes in this passage. In this passage. So I hope you get a chance to Walk lighter with less burdens today. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.